So we just got in the LS front wheel drive. Here's the first thing, you don't have push button start. You have a regular turnkey ignition in this model. Uh, and as you look quick, you'll see the trim is different than what it was. In, ooh, these feel different. So this, remember before I mentioned how these were very loose? This actually is different in that it's a lot tighter and a lot more of a positive click in between each, uh, each thing. Now, this does not have the automatic climate control like the other vehicle had. The other vehicle had where you can set the temperature uh, you know, that you want you know, for whatever it is, 65, 70, whatever, and it can automatically keep you there. So this does not have that. You'll notice this is a seven inch screen, uh, not an eight inch. It still looks the same, still has the same functionality, uh, you know, just a smaller screen with different trim around the outside, you know, just more of a base model. Uh, we're showing low fuel. Let's see how much we got in here. Uh, we can drive 31 miles, which is more than enough. So this will get me back. I also noticed um, we still have start stop. We have a traction off button and we have that lane departure warning on off, but there is no snow mode button here. Where the other one had snow mode and it had um, like a checkered flag, like a sport mode. That's probably because this is the 1.2 liter, not the 1.3 liter turbo. So we're gonna get to drive the, the, the base engine back and kind of feel it out. Again, same, uh, you know, has a continuously variable transmission. This is 137 horsepower rather than 155. But um, let's get her on the road and let's see if we can feel a difference between the two. Of course, here you have no power seat, so you have manual seat controls. Uh, you know, there is a height adjustment as well as, you know, your forward, back, and recline, which is pretty standard these days. I also noticed on the steering wheel, uh, you do not have cruise control, so there's no cruise in this model. I'm not sure if it's optional. I'd have to look that up when I get back. As far as like power windows, locks, lights, it's all pretty much the same with the exception that the LS model does not have fog lights like they do in the LT with an option package. Everything else is gonna be the same like your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you know, USB ports, all that stuff is the same that's up front here. As we stop for this light, we're gonna shut down an auto start stop because I did not turn the button off down at the bottom there. So once I come to a complete stop in a second, we'll see that drop off. And there it is. So try to save a little bit of fuel and a little bit of pollutants that go into the air. As we stop at red lights and things like that, I'm gonna kind of just leave the start stop mode on because I wanna see what does it feel like in this car? Is it subtle? Is it is it an instant response as you let go to brake? You know, in the Equinox and a Traverse, it, it's pretty subtle. I'm assuming this is gonna be the same way. We're gonna hop back on Route 80. This way we can kind of do the highway merge test with the smaller engine. I'm going in this corner a little quick, and uh, I mean, it, it, it feels like a car. You know, they feel like cars. You know, it's so tough in a, in a quick test drive to kind of get a feel of how something's gonna handle all situations, but um, it, it it handles just like a regular like a regular crossover really handles. It feels confident. A little bit of body roll as I come around this. Again, which is sort of to be expected in something that has a little bit of a higher higher uh, center of gravity. All right, so we're merging in. We're doing 54 miles an hour. I'm gonna apply some throttle and just like that, we're at 65. Right now we're cruising around 66, 67 miles an hour. We're right around that 2100 RPM range. I'm gonna use this opportunity to pass off these two trucks. So turn signal on, a little bit of throttle. And we're doing, I mean, I tell you what, with the CVT and this turbo engine combined, this is a little 1.2 liter three cylinder. I'm doing 78 miles an hour, which is, I know speeding at the moment, but again, I'm just passing a truck and I'm a little bit slower than the flow of traffic with this Mercedes on my bumper, but this accelerates fine. I don't see any lack of power or any need to have more power. Now, I'm not all in on the throttle. You know, sometimes when you drive a car in normal driving conditions, it feels fine. And then when you really put your foot to the floor to accelerate, all of a sudden you realize, wait, I don't have much more power, you know? So it could be one of those situations. I'm not romping on the throttle because it's a brand new car with 11 miles on it. But I can tell you that for everyday driving, you know, this, this is doing the job fine with just me in the car. It's pretty quiet inside. I do feel like this is slightly noisier than the other one. 
I don't know if that is because this is the smaller engine and maybe the engine just a little bit louder or because this is the base model. I know in previous Chevrolet vehicles, sometimes when you go to this LS model, you don't get as much sound deadening materials and stuff like that. Maybe there's a little bit more of that in the LT. Um, I'd have to look it up and do the research. I'm not sure yet, but um, I feel like it's a little, a little noisier. Not so much now on the highway, more when I was back on those other roads by the dealership kind of cruising around and uh, you know, starting from a dead stop at, at those lights. Again, very brief amount of time in each car to, to kind of get a feel for it. Just to sort of recap, and then we'll kind of end this video. Uh, I'm six foot five. I fit in the front seat. I can fit in the back seat. Behind the way I had the seat set up in the front. So it's definitely roomy enough, you know, for four or five people. Uh, ride quality, it's nice. The steering feels good. Suspension feels nice. It's comfortable. Um, this is, a, this is the cloth seat and uh, you know, it feels supported and, and just as comfortable as the other one. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily a guy that finds a lot of flaws. Like I, I'll find a positive in everything. Uh, you know, it is interesting to me that these buttons feel different between the auto climate control and these climate control knobs. I don't know if that's a thing or if that was just that particular LT. We do have another one at the dealership that I can take a look at and see how that feels. I would say if I had to find a flaw, in the 30 minutes that I spent in these two trucks today, I would say the worst thing is that when you want to take out the tray in the center console, it's hard to take the tray out. Other than that, you know, I think this is a fine vehicle so far. Um, again, like I mentioned, please subscribe to the channel. You will see a lot more Trailblazer content as we go forward and we get more of these in that I can put videos together on. Once I have like one of each model, I'll do comparison videos and kind of point out the different option packages and all that sort of stuff. So for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and this little first look, first drive at the Trailblazer for 2021. If you have any questions at all, just throw them in the comments down below. I'll answer all of them and uh, please subscribe. So, uh, you know, I can see you as I create more videos. Guys, I'm back real quick, check it out. While I was away, we got an LT in and we got a Scarlet Red RS. So definitely stay tuned, more videos to come. Uh, by the way, we didn't get just one of these, we got two.